Hey everybody, what's up? Ooh. We're moving some of the plants out. Ooh, look at all these tomatoes and peppers. Purple and what? So now we're taking them down to the greenhouses where we're going to transplant at. As we start to transplant more, this greenhouse will fill up very fast. As you can see, we've already got some peppers in here. Also some lettuce and some parsley. Look at all these tomatoes. They look so nice. We have a lot of different things on this wagon. We have some tomatoes. These are half trays that we seeded. Some of them came up better than others. So these flats right here are called 98s and these are actually the peppers we're gonna be planting in our field when the time comes. But what we're gonna do with these now, as you can see we got like a double here. We're gonna go through and take out all the doubles and fix up some of these misses that we have. It just started pouring and it is going crazy in here. Oh my goodness. Look out there. We're taking out all the extras in these trays and we're putting them aside and we're gonna fill up more trays of the, what are we doing here? Long hot peppers. We just got all the doubles taken out of the long hots and we also filled in all the holes but we have a couple plants left over so we're going to fill in these trays. So we're all finished with peppers and now we're moving on to planting some tomatoes for sales. And we're going to be filling these six inch pots and we're going to be doing these trays called 32s. Where did you guys get all that? That's chickens? They're coming from that way. They were here earlier with us, remember? Before lunch? Maybe we should put the steaks right in right now. I mean, you could, but they're really small. So this is the type of tomato I'm planting. It's called patio. The area we live in is very rural, but a lot of people live in a city that's not too far away from here, and they like to have patio tomatoes because they stay kind of combined in a bush. They don't grow all over the place. So probably that's why they're called patio tomatoes, and some people like to put them in their garden if they don't have a lot of room. I just got finished with those patio tomatoes and dad is planting some Juliet. I'm moving on to a different tomato. I'm planting my favorite, sweet orange. We just got done with the sweet orange and now we're moving on to some grape. And I know what you're thinking. You're watching us do all this planting and you think, man, that's really boring. But in all reality, 
it's really boring. But just because it may be boring and tedious and time consuming doesn't mean it's not important because our family's farm makes a lot of its income from these greenhouses and planting these plants, even though it's time consuming and tedious and boring, it's very important. Look who's tagging. Is this an important job? Very important. Why? Because if you don't have the right name on the tomato, people get mad. They get really mad. We got the grape finished. Now we're moving on to Sweet Million. Another cherry tomato. You are speed. I'm a machine. What happens when the machine breaks? This one doesn't. We have peppers, basil, red basil, lettuce. These are all tomatoes. More lettuce. Red butter crunch. More lettuce. And more peppers and tomatoes. And the sun just came out, so it got like 30 degrees warmer in here. Good beer. Yeah, son, go back behind the clouds. Make it cooler in here. And my dad has a difficult job. He keeps going up to the label machine to make more labels, and you're falling behind, Dad. Do you think you'll be able to catch up? I did up? not fall on my behind. Are you sure about that? Yes. He totally did fall on his behind. Daniel said you fell on your behind. Yee! Day 93. Still planting tomatoes in the greenhouse. We've moved on to a mountain fresh variety. We're planting it into these six inch pots that we're gonna eventually gonna stake and then we'll sell these to our customers. As you can see here, we've been planting a lot of tomatoes. We've been doing many different varieties. I don't know how many we've planted today, but we planted quite a few. And we're almost finished. We're finishing up with these six inch pots. What kind are we doing now? Better Boy. Is that better than the last boy? No. Then why is it called Better Boy? Somebody had a good idea one day and they thought it would be a good idea to name it Better Boy. We do a lot of planning in this greenhouse and it's come to my attention that we don't really give you guys any tips. So we're going to change that. Dad, Dad, what's a good tip for farming? Don't start too early in the morning because you work late anyway. There you go. You're welcome, guys. And what variety are we on now? Big boy. Big boy. I'm guessing that's big, bigger than better boy? Uh, yeah, you spell it differently. Oh, wonderful. Look what I did. Now, Dad, because I broke this, is this plant useless? No, a tomato plant will, will root if you stick it in the dirt. Did we just get a veggie fact? A tomato plant roots all right out the stems. It'll grow roots all the way up the stem if you put it in the dirt. Look at that. So even if you're planting your tomatoes and you break the roots off, they'll still grow. Now, what's neat is you can do that with tomatoes, but you can't do that with other plants. So if you break your roots off your peppers, cabbage, broccoli, anything else, it's not gonna grow back. But with tomatoes, it will grow back. Oh, no, no, no. Someone messed up. Daniel! I just wanted to let you know, I didn't film all of it, but we did 20 different varieties of tomato. We did anywhere from cherry and grape up to some large tomatoes, even some heirloom. So I just wanted to let you guys know. We also planted some peppers. We moved our long hot peppers. We transplanted them, finished those trays off. So we planted quite a bit. And the sad thing is, you see all this we planted along here? And yet we have all these empty tables. But we'll fill them up, don't worry. 
Do you have anything you want to say tonight? No, have a good day and stay safe. Thank you.